Oh, it's something nice, y'all. I think so. I think a big one. Not even, not even for you. shrimps, my skibikis. Let me just see if there's actually anything, any kind of fish in there. Whoa, you see those fish stacked right there? You see them? Indeed I do. See if I can catch one of them with these fake shrimps right here. Biting it right away. All right, my trusty Deeper Pro Plus Two. This thing always helps me find all the fish that I need. All right, so I'm using the Pro Plus Two here, and this will really help me see exactly what's going on under the water right there. Just saves me a lot of time for looking for fish with a lure or looking for fish with bait. I like to know what the bottom looks like, and I can just tie this onto my rod. It's like super easy to use. You tie it onto your rod like this. All right, so the way that I mark the fish is I cast it out. And then I start measuring how far it is out there and I slowly bring it in. And I'll pretty much get a good view of what it looks like from out there all the way to in here. We're at eight feet right here. Are you marking anything? I'm marking some fish at the bottom right here. At six to eight feet. I'm marking some bait fish at four feet. Six feet. Oh yeah, there's lots of stuff scattered around here. Yep. We're holding around eight feet here, right in the middle. And I see bait fish. I see stuff on the bottom. I see bigger fish at the bottom. You see, you see this cluster of bait right here? Down at eight feet, down at six feet, 
That might be Croker. I'm looking for Croker right now. So just literally right in front of me. Okay. All right, now that I know there's fish there, we're gonna switch to the Skip Beaky rig. Here's our brand new Skip Beaky rig. This is our bait catching rig. And I have five hooks tied on it. And I custom made these so they look like little minnows or little shrimps. You know something's gonna eat this. Especially if we tip it with some of our special shrimpy bit bait on there. This is fresh salted shrimp. And um, we're gonna use it on this rig right here. So you're gonna tie your main line to the two-way swivel right here. And this is really simple to just tie. I love bringing my own pre-tied rigs and I love using sabiki rigs. So we attach this and we just start pulling. See how easy this is? And this bait box right here is so useful. I keep all my tackle in here. This other On this other end, we're gonna put a sinker. And just remember, you can keep this and wrap it back up in here after you're done and put it back in your plastic bag and you can just keep using it over and over again. Next, we're gonna put little pieces of bait on each of these hooks. And this is our shrimpy bits right here. These are salt preserved, our special salt preserved shrimps right here. I mean, these can stay in your backpack. These can stay in your bait box. We're gonna do a mixture of that and some real shrimp. <clears throat> and these are nice and tough, so they'll stay on the hook for you. I can just pinch this off and put a little bit and a pack of this will last you forever if you're catching little fish like this. How's the video looking? Fantastic, okay. beautiful. So I'm gonna cast exactly where I found fish on the deeper. And uh, we're meeting my friends, Jack, his mom, my dad's gonna come. Jack's mom is really good at catching bait. I'm actually, I should probably give her some sabikis. Maybe she'll help us catch some bait. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, missed it. Biting like right away. And sometimes it's helpful to give the, the little minnows on there a little motion. So just kind of bring the tip rod up, the, rod of the, uh, the tip of the rod up a little bit and jiggle around the bait and it moves around a little bit and it looks like a fish. And you're gonna bite right after. So croaker is one of my favorite baits to use, but sometimes they don't work. I like to have multiple kinds of bait, and croaker is the first kind of bait I'm going to catch today. I'm going to go and catch some shrimps next, and then I'm going to get some crabs next, and see which one is going to work best for today. But sometimes croaker catches me the biggest fish of the day, so I'm going to stock up with maybe six or seven of them. I'm going to try and get maybe three or four crabs, and then try and get a dozen shrimp and uh, see what happens. Ooh, bite. Perfect. Oh, that's a, that's a perfect size one right here. Couldn't ask for a better one right here. See that? In there. This Kabiki rig works really well. Catching a lot of bait with it. Two at a time, too. Do you keep... Uh... I gave her some. No shrimp though. I'm still in a shrimp out there. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go right now. Okay, so catch the croak, okay? Hold on, hold on. All right, next I think we've got enough, got enough croaker now. Let's go catch some shrimp. All right, Jack, good luck. I'll see you, uh, you we'll see you later. You gonna crab with me later? Maybe? Oh, okay.
All right, I'll be on the other side. You know where I am. All right, Dad. Do you know where I'll be? Sad day. Yeah, no good, no good. good thing I caught croaker already. No, no croaker. I, I went to catch croaker already. No big fish. No, no big fish. No big, no big fish. Mm. One, one small red drop. Mm. Red drop? Red. Oh, yeah. Okay, good luck. That's it. It's too small. Too small. It's right? two? Wow! Oh. <laughs> Good luck! 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 That's a horrible. Lemme. Yesterday I heard it was good, right? Yeah, yesterday it was good. It's because I'm coming today, that's why. Why? Why? That's the reason why. Why? 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 Oh, you're going to catch some crab? Yeah, I'm going to try to catch crab. I don't care if it's not, it's not so much meat. No, yeah, no meat. I, I got a big one, just a big crab. Yeah, nothing but just a claw. Just a claw? Just a claw. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But I, I, mean, I need a new one this time. Oh, okay. See, this time, like this. Oh, okay. So put the lantern here. Oh, okay. You Our lantern go. burned. I hope it works. It burned. It burned the pipe. Yeah, it burned it already. Yeah, because it's too close. Yeah. Right. So yeah. I, I need it further out this time. I try this. Okay, good luck. Nice. Right, I'll set up over here. Yeah. Yeah, you should come yesterday. I know. Oh, Every you time know I how many times? Is this your pipe in here? My pipe, yeah. So I know, I know where I, I threw it right at. Ah, smart. Yeah, you, you throw the bait and then you know where, where you, you're going to throw it. I see, I see. These are my crabbing lines, you see? I have ropes on them. 
I'll try throwing some out now, but I'll, I think mainly in the daytime I'll be catching. And look at my tiny rod here. We got a tiny rod here sent to us by M Rod. This guy Tim, who owns the company, sent me a couple of these rods. They're called M Rods, and they're these little tiny, very portable rods. I'm gonna try this out today. The station is so tight. Okay, now we need the bait. This is shrimp bait. It's um, already pre-made actually. They're called shrimp pellets. Got them from Ace Hardware. What we're gonna do here is just take a handful like this. We're gonna throw some in every which direction. Just remember where you throw them. So we're gonna throw some in this direction. Here's my shrimp net. If I catch any shrimp, I put it in this live well. Got some bait here for crabs. Shrout heads. Nice. Great bait. Few. Great. Not bad. Oh. One, two, three, four. And you're right on your bait, so good job. Catch a crab? Oh yeah. Now we can use the fish. And some shrimp. Got some crab from earlier. I'm gonna put it on my sure catch rig. Now that's on my little M rod. The sure catch rig is a pre-tied rig that uh, that we sell on our website. It's it, basically a Carolina rig. Hold on, let me show you what. It is. First of all, just take a look at this M rod. This is a very interesting style rod. We're gonna put this right through here. Like that. And this is the sure catch rig, you see? 
it's a swivel. I put an X anchor, 30 pound line, and a two watt circle hook. So I'm gonna pass this out. Set the drag. And if anything big pulls it, you'll hear the drag go off. But for now, I'm gonna do some shrimping and crabbing. Be here. The trout I caught last time. Nothing goes to waste. If I don't make it into fish stock, I use it for crab bait. And a fish like this doesn't die for nothing. So I'm gonna to need to feed the line through the mouth here. Holy crap! Came off? No, it's on, it's on. It's on, it's on. Whoa! Look! A redfish! Redfish! Uh, no, on a dead crab. And that was on my tiny little portable rod that I brought. This is a little bit too small. But, uh, I mean, that was crazy. I caught it on the little M rod. See you, dude. I'm gonna do that. Another perfect bait right there. Cross this back up. Oh yeah. Oh, it's something nice, y'all. I think so. I think a big one. Oh, he's leaving. He said, "See you." It's a big one, y'all. On a little tiny rod here. Whoa. Whoa. Big drum. Big drum. Whoa. Big drum. Wow. Look at that, guys. On the sure catch rig. 
Holy cow. Whew. See that? On this little tiny M rod right here. Look at that. Wow, that is incredible. Get a picture of this. This guy's massive. This guy's a massive one. It is an honor to catch this fish. Legendary status right here, y'all. Oh, on my very own sure catch rig. What should we do? Give it to Jack's mom. Okay. That is a freaking nice one, guys. That was a good fight on that little rod, too. Surprisingly, not as strong as I thought they would be. That was a great morning. I think I'm too tired. I'm just gonna go back and sleep. I've been up since 2.30 in the morning. The sun's about to rise. And I need to get some sleep. But that was such a great time. I can't believe I got that nice big black drum. That was like last second too. And that was on the crab that we caught in the cast net. This rod was really pretty interesting to use. I mean, it fit in my backpack really well. It was like pretty much cast it out, leave it, forget it, set the drag. And I ended up catching two nice fish on it. So I'm glad I brought the rod. This rod itself is like spring loaded in the middle and it can come apart like this, look. So it's super portable. When I put it in my backpack, it's pretty much just like this. And then when I get to my spot, that. And then you spool it through the middle. And this spring acts as a uh, kind of like a resistance. This is the backbone of the rod. It's just, I think, a fun little portable rod you can bring if you're not like trying to go some serious fishing. My mission this morning was catch bait and I'm glad I could catch some bait, put it out on this little rod and catch some nice fish. And that's what it's all about. Come here, catch your own bait, catch your own dinner, go home, cook it up. It's a beautiful life. So thank you for watching our video. If you like our stuff and this was a helpful video or you were entertained and you want to support us, we have a lot of awesome products that we used in the same video, like the SureCatch rig, the baits, the Skibiki rigs. Check out our website, hayskipperfishing.com. We sell a lot of stuff on there. And if you guys want to support us, this is a great place to do so. I want to give Deeper a big shout out for helping us find some fish. That bait is going to be crucial for my morning fishing right now. I mean, I hear him busting right now. I'm, I'm really excited that I have all this bait. So thanks, Deeper. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Dad! I forgot my dad right there. Yeah. I have all this poker. I'm going to come back and crab after. I just poker. I'm going to use my poker. There's a lot of crab. Where are <laughs> Crabs? I now. saw he was up to something. <laughs> nice. That's a big, a big one. one. Oh my god, I know I want some crabs actually. This is no a lot of fish over there. Are you gonna be like Ooh. Oh, that's a good way too. Yeah, he's good. See. Yeah, he did, he did a good too. Wow. That's good. I think you should just go crapping instead of trap. Because you got a black bunch already. There's so many crabs oh though. Oh my goodness. Yeah. No, it's a steal. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know. I'll just start screaming to you. Yeah, you can have a crab all day long today, don't worry. Yeah, hey, let's go, come on. Feel the blood creeping up from the heathens Got will, got fight, got pride, got reason If they wanna go eat, then you know I'm gonna feed them If you're coming for me, hope you're ready for a demon I got eyes in the back of my head, I'm seeing Take me for granted and you know I'm leaving I'ma take what's mine with the webs I'm weaving I could take this crap from seeing to believing Got a taste for blood and my tongue keeps bleeding From the words I spit, so sharp, so freezing So cold, behold, frostbite